Reykjanes Peninsula of the Iceland is a very interesting place. We have an extension of the earth crust in that area, which is part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And the stretching of it has created rift valleys. The most famous one at the moment is what I have called Grindavik Rift Valley. We can see the, in this area of photographs from the Metaphys of Iceland, you can see the rift valley and the fault lines and the range. This is the top of the fault line and the basin where the drop down of the faults and several faults are there exist. Simplified version of that is this, what we think is this, is the stretching of the lithosphere creates this uh, uplift of the magma and uh, eruption and the source sinking volcanic system is formed here in this setting we have usually eruptions now for the last uh, four five six months this is how it happens it stretches the ground due to the uplift we can map them by the gps data as you can see here and the red line shows where the extension has happened and the uplift and the uplift of this area creates the bulging of the ground and the bulging that leads to the eruption we can actually see that in the form of the eruption that happens in the sunduka craters this is a sort uh, gps data we are seeing interestingly when we have the uplift after the eruption happens we see a downfall as if the ground falls down due to the magma flowing from the Schwarzenegger toward the Sunuka crater to the east. In the Elfdorf, we have the opposite of that. Uh, what is interesting, east-west direction, actually, you can see it here. We have a contraction of the ground in the east-west direction. And the moment the eruption happens, it starts to stretch back. So what we are seeing in the opposite side of it, in the Grindavik, is the exactly opposite of what happens in the Elfdorf. Uh, we see that the, uh, during the, up to the point of the eruption, the land is actually stretching until the point of the eruption. Then it starts after the eruption to contract. I've tried to show this in this diagram. Extension up to the point of the uh, eruption. Then during the eruption and after that, we have contraction of the ground. This makes sense because the land is rising due to the magma accumulation. So it stretches and then contracts. In the adjacent re regions to the opposite side of the fault lines, you will see the opposite of that. In, when there is extension, you see on that side compression and the opposite again when it happens. This is interesting observation. The land is breathing. You can see that the effect of it on the Elfdorf and the Schwarzenegger and the Grindavik area.